Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Life Tarot with Renee. I truly appreciate you guys tuning in and um, subscribing to the channel. Um, you guys are such a blessing and I appreciate you all. Today, I'm doing the love reading for Aquarius for the uh, for June 7th through the 11th. I'm so tongue-tied today, y'all. <laughs> but we are still in retrograde, so maybe that got something to do with it. <laughs> You guys, this reading will not resonate ooh, with all Aquariuses out there, okay? So only take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Aquariuses, let's get into your reading. Also, there is no gender in tarot, okay? So take the roles and the energies, how they fit your narrative. Please do not try to force a story. You know my motto, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, Aquarius is okay. Somebody's in the nine of swords energy, right? Uh, what's wrong? Uh, grief and depression for real, for real, over the queen of swords? What's going on, Aquarius? Oh my goodness. Babies, what's the matter? And the chariot is flipped out in reverse? <laughs> you like that energy? What the world? <laughs> you Oh, you're giving up. Hmm. Some of you guys could be having car trouble too, just saying. <laughs> right? Maybe you're having travel issues. All right, give it to me, spirit. Yeah. If somebody wants to offer a pay a cup of love, what's going on? What's wrong? Oh, I'm taking all of them. Yeah. And somebody's trying to um oh wow. Okay. So okay, somebody okay. Either you or your person is in grief and depression over this connection. Um, could it be Queen of Swords? That could be your energy. I mean, this is your reading, Aquarius, air energy. Yes, Libra, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, right? This could be you, right? Somebody is like wanting to give up on this cup of love, right? The manifesting calmer waters, though, with the Six of Swords. Mm hmm. Somebody wants to just move forward and like into a new direction. Either you or your person and they're giving, and either you or your person is giving up on this connection. Um, um, this could be your energy or this could be, um, you could be dealing with another, another air uh, sign, another Aquarian, Libra or Gemini, okay? Oh child, the stress of it all, Aquarius. What's wrong? Right? Why are you giving up on this cup of love? Right? You want to come in with the offer when you want to, but you're just manifesting to just, you know, move to calmer waters and just like get over the situation. And that's what I'm getting because it's, it's like making you highly depressed. Oh, either you or your person. Take it how it resonates. You guys tell me your story in the comment field. What's the nine of swords? Yeah, the fool. Yeah, yeah wanting to take a leap of faith though. Mm hmm Somebody wants to take a leap of faith and is stressing you out. What's the fool? Clarify the fool spirit. Oh, not spirit. Now you know that's just too many to be. Spirit, y'all know spirit get the gossip and carrying on. At this point. <laughs> uh, what's the fool spirit? Thank you, spirit. Okay. Yeah, juggling. Oh, juggling. Yeah, juggling between two, possibly. Mm hmm. Weighing out your options, maybe having too many options, being in the devil energy. Yeah, they're stressing you out. Yeah, but that devil energy to me, Capricorn energy, that's conflict. Yeah, that's internal conflict. Mental conflict is what I'm gathering here in this energy. Okay, Aquarius, so if this is you, let me know. Cross watchers, you are welcome here at Real Love Tarot. So let me know if this is your story and it resonates. Yeah, what's the, who's the Queen of Swords? What's the Queen of Swords spirit? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to spread them out here. Okay. Yeah, somebody really is like moving on from the Queen of Cups. I mean, from the uh, Queen of Swords. 
feeling abandoned in this connection for whatever reason. Wow. Okay. Spirit, what's the chariot in reverse? What's the chariot in reverse, Spirit? For Aquarius? Yeah. Seven of Swords. Too much conflict. Lies and deceit. Betrayal, dishonesty in this connection. Mm, either from you or your person, right? Now, if the moon come out, I know that this has been some probably hot, hidden um, secrets. Or maybe the high priestess come out, yeah. But let's see, what's, um, what's the seven of swords? What's the lies and deceit spirit for grace and love? Yeah, hold on, let's see here. Yeah, oh my God. So we have the King of Pentacles in reverse and then we have the lovers, yeah. Oh, there is a love connection here, right? But then we have the pinnacle, uh, the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? So the King of Pentacles in reverse, Um. oh yeah, a jealous person and no follow through on this love connection, right? So this is, I'm getting this is your energy. Aquarius, somebody's hide. You're hiding. You, yeah, you're hiding your love for this Queen of Swords. Why? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Tell me, you're jealous about. You're jealous, but you're not even, you're not even, are you not trying? You want, you, you don't know. It's like you don't know what to do. This is what I'm gathering. Um, and it's okay. You're safe here. So I really want to hear your story, right? Mm hmm But this is lover's in, lover energy, Gemini, <laughs> Gemini energy at that. So you could be dealing with the Gemini, another air sign here. Okay. Could be. But it's just an energy. So let's see. What's the page of cups? What's this love offer? Clarify that. Thank you, Spirit, because I see you flipping around. Okay, I'll take both of them. This Empress. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. You want to work together with the Empress, but um, you're not taking any action. Right? But you can't manifest something without taking action. Hello. <laughs> This could be now. This could be with a cross watcher too. So take it how it resonates. What's the magician? What's the magician? Yeah, because something here, um, something, and you know what? The magician is not just manifesting, but something. Somebody has been creating illusions around this connection, secrets, high priestess energy. Hello. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I bet you this queen of swords don't even know you feel this way. She could, though, because the high priestess fell out. She's probably highly intuitive, but you're not being honest. Yeah, and that's where the deceit is coming in with the seven of swords. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to come, you want, you really want a happy ending with this queen of cups, this loving, yeah, because she's, yeah, that could be your energy. You probably want to come in as the queen of cups. Mm-hmm. Or this or or this Queen of Swords, she's also very loving, supportive, generous, and all of that. But why are you moving away to common waters? Hold on. Hold on. Why are you giving up? Mm -hmm. With the six of swords. Yeah, you're moving. It's like you want to move on to calmer waters, but you want to move to calmer water. You want to move to calmer waters. Maybe t with the queen of queen of cups, or are you just moving away and you just it's too much of a it's too much of a stress on you. What's the six of cups? Oh, the eight of wands in reverse. So no fast action move, move. There's no fast action here. It's like you're frustrated. Mm -hmm. 
too many delays in this connection. But why? It sounds like self-sabotage to me. If there's no action being taken um, with the King of Pentacles in reverse, that's too many spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So this frustration and this connection, right, with the Eight of Wands in reverse. And um, it's, like, it's like you're having a, a hard time moving towards this Queen of Swords, right? Yeah. Give me more spirit. Why why is this why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. You want to offer them something. Mm-hmm. Your pinnacles is looking good. With the Ten of Pentacles, it's like you it's looking good. Could have inherited some money or came into some uh, money uh, recently. Good for you. Maybe that's what you're focusing on instead of coming towards this love. Thank you. Yeah, you want to offer. Yeah, you want to offer. Yeah, you want to you wanna move forward towards them and offer. And you want victory and success on top of that. But the Six of Wands, well, what's the... Okay, well, okay, let's see how this turned around. Give me more experience because <laughs> I'm getting all excited because what's the problem? <laughs> what the problem is? <laughs> Oh, Aquarius, and you're de you're really depressed about this. Ace of Pentacles, yes, indeedy. Mm hmm. Yeah. You really want to you want to have a you want to invest in this situation. You want yeah, and you want victory and success. Um. You could be coming into also into some more Pentacles into some new income as well. Um, maybe with work or something like that. But I'm seeing that you really want to offer, um, you want to offer this, uh, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups energy. Um, yeah, you, you do. And we got the Seven of Pentacles here. Mm-hmm. You want to work towards it, but you're being patient and you're waiting You're trying to figure out how how to do this and how to bring this in and be successful when you do it, right? You guys, tell me your story in the comic field. Yeah, Page of Wands, energy. Yeah. You want to come in. But it's a burden for you and it's very frustrating, right? You want to come in and you want to give this message, right? Oh, child. Any more messages before I go into the hood deck? Yeah, King of Wands energy, the star. Yeah, Korean energy, baby. That's your energy on the board. Hello. Yeah, King of Wands energy, right? Mm-hmm. So you want to you wanna come in and you want to conjure up the courage, right? Because that's what the King of Wands is. They're bold. They're a leader. They're very charming. And um, with the star card here, you want, you, you're gaining a new sense of hope in the situation. But you're afraid to move forward or whatever. You have a lot of fears here. Then you have this devil energy here as well, which tells me the way it fell out over here with the Nine of Swords, the Fool, the Two of Pentacles and the Devil. The Two of Pentacles having many options that end in the Devil behind it. In front of that, well, yeah, behind that, I would say that you're having, um, you're overthinking about the situation and it's causing you a mental block, which is why it's so difficult for you to move forward in this connection, right? Mm hmm. You're hiding with the Seven of Swords, this lies and deceit here. You're hiding your feelings, though. You want to come in towards your for your with to your empress, and offer this this love with this page of cups here, right? But you're coming in as a page, yeah. You're coming in as a page. You want and you want to work together. Mm -hmm. You want you 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 really want to work together with this empress, right? Bring in this cup of love, but you just um. It's like you can't get out of your head and you're jealous, right? 
not only that, you're jealous. This King of Wands, that's another energy as well. Take it how it resonates. This isn't going to resonate for everybody, but for some of you guys, you're jealous of a king of wands so you so it could be that this empress has another suitor mm-hmm you're jealous of that yep period point blank that's exactly what's going on here but you're not taking action either so this is either you or your person but this is coming this is this is coming up in your initial energy Aquarius, tell if it's your story, let me know in the comment fields, okay? But yeah, you're you're hopeful in this situation with the sun card. Now, I know the sun is the happiest card in the deck, okay? But and you and you really want this to come through, but at the same time, you're frustrated because uh, it's just like you you for so long you've been creating and hiding behind this illusion with this magician, right? You don't know how to manifest this anymore. You probably tried in the past. Right, you could have actually tried to create a uh, create magic, <laughs> maybe a love spell in the past. I don't know, but we're about to get into the hood deck, and we're gonna clarify all of that <laughs> real quick before I let you guys go. Yeah, because yeah, you do you want your empress, but it's just like this, and you and it's like strong love that you have for her or him, right? Empress, you know, it's the energy, so could be a guy or a girl okay you guys but i'm just saying libra energy yeah another air sign but you are in the seven of swords energy you're not being honest and you're scared to come forward we got the charity in reverse okay you want to offer these pinnacles but you're also in this devil mentality right blockages yeah capricorn energy you could be dealing with a capricorn child here's your energy aquarian energy the star you could be a star Check it out, resonates. Yeah. Mm hmm. And you want victory and success. But it's just like, yeah. It's like tough. It's really tough for you. And you really are depressed about it. You really are. It's just like, it's stressing you. It's just, it's stressing you the entire hell out. I'm just keeping 100. A thou wow, as, as I like to say. <laughs> yeah. All right, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me honest messages of the backstory of what's going on with Aquarius in love regarding that Empress, this Queen of Swords. What the word? Okay, why did poverty? Oh, uh, like you feel like you have lack of finances? Ciao. Okay, I'm going to take them. Ciao. You feel like this is a missed opportunity? Let's see. Yeah, boundaries are needed in this connection. The initials V, first, middle, last, years of theirs. Yeah, yeah. A lot of you guys feel like this is a missed opportunity, either you or your person. Yeah, maybe toxic energy, you know, being devilish, manipulative in the past. Yeah, with the conflict and deceit, with the seven of swords popping right here. Yeah, initials G. Ciao. Q. Yeah, poverty, lag, ba um, being in bad health. Uh, for some of you guys, um, it's, cause, it's causing you to, um, it's affecting your finances. I'll say it like that. So, yeah, but uh, Spirit is saying surrender to the divine, right? Initials K. Yeah, and behind the scenes, baby, you having the tower moment. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius or have that in your chart, strong. Could be, yeah, but somebody got caught lying, cheating, and stealing. Huh manifesting but you're feeling trapped in your head absolutely with this devil energy that's exactly what's going on here okay that's exactly what's going on here you wanted wanted to take a leap of faith with the full card right but this nine of swords is whooping your ass yep it's whooping on you bad you want victory and success but you don't want to move towards it because the chariot is in reverse hello it's right here it's in reverse yeah and you're jealous over this queen of wands in this devil energy over this king of wands that could be in the picture right you're very aware this there's, there's another suitor here and now you feel like you missed the opportunity so i gotta pull this to the side that's important yeah 
And now you're in this toxic energy. Yeah. With this King of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, the suitor, the other suitor. Mm -hmm. This King of Wands that popped out. Yeah. You're jealous of this person. Yeah. Secrets. Keeping secrets. Being sneaky and snake-like. Initial F. This is important. Yeah, like what the world? Yeah, you're having a major tower moment. Yeah. But you're lying. Somebody got caught doing something. They ain't had no business. Mm -hmm. Or maybe and then the high priestess came out. So your your person could could sense this, right? Could be highly intuitive or whatever, right? You or your person wants to right their wrongs, right? If there's been some wrongdoing, deceit or whatever. Yeah, initials in. First, middle, last. Yeah, air. That's you, baby. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Yep, that's your energy in here. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is like, I'm telling it all. Initials B. Oh, what's behind it? Yeah. They're still in love with you, though. You or them. Yeah. You're in love with your person? Or they're in love with you? Yeah. Yeah, they're in love with you. <laughs> Aww. Right? Are you are in love with them? Initials A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You or your person really wants stability in this connection. And you're learning to and you're learning and growing from this a situation, but it's still stressful. Right? Any more messages, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. An apology is coming. Yes. About this line in deceit. Yeah. Initials M, first, middle, last, yours or theirs. Could be dealing with the Scorpio or have it in a chart. Yours of them. Yeah, but this is destiny. Mm hmm But you got to take that leap of faith. You want to, but you can't be sitting back jealous and, you, you know, giving up on the connection. Yeah. Standing your ground. You're your person. Yeah. But for why? Initial Z. Why are you standing your ground and maintaining your power? Hmm? Over this Libra. What's going on, Aquarius? Talk to me. Be cautious. Move slow in this connection with your Empress. Again, double Empress on the board. Libra energy. The Empress is the queen of all queens, and she is the absolute truth. Please understand. Yeah, there's sexual desires here. Mm -hmm. But somebody's crying over spilled milk. Over the Seven of Swords energy. Yep. There's addictions. Somebody, there's somebody, somebody in this connection is, is addicted to being in this devil energy. It could be drugs. It could be toxicity. It could be anything that's addictive, right? Being um, lost in your head is addictive, right? You guys take it how it resonates. You tell me. Somebody could be overindulging in alcohol. Any more messages? Wow, thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Somebody's truly heartbroken. Either you or your person. Wow. Mm-hmm. And embarrassed about their past behavior. Either you or them. Yep, that's what's going on here. Any more messages for Aquarius, Spirit? Wow. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was trying to do a love spell or dark magic, and it, that don't seem like it worked. <laughs> Pisces energy. Yeah. Yeah. Children are a factor in this situation for some of you guys. You could be dealing with the Leo. Mm-hmm. But communication about the situation is coming. It definitely is. Yeah. But somebody, whoever you're dealing with, um, they were being, yeah, However their behavior was in the past, your person, you or your person was embarrassed by that, about it, right? Whether you were the person who did it or vice versa, okay? But, you know, communication is coming in. Any more messages before? Okay, spirit. Okay, that's it. All right, yeah. Somebody was dealing with a gold digger in the past, too, and a straight-up liar. Yep, in this connection... Yeah, but something's going to get within the next six weeks. So, yeah, something's coming to end the world. A new cycle. You're going to come out of this conflict, right? 
and um you in in spirit is is going to put it into this cycle and um you're going to have a new cycle new beginnings right yep that's what's going on aquarius is okay let me get you some quick angel um oracle messages from spirit divine spirit holy spirit please give me honest messages um angel oracle me that's too many spirit now <laughs> let's see yeah oh romance is here what spirit is saying yes and with the next few weeks and it just said within the next six weeks yeah something is about to pop off where that sign go y'all seen it y'all seen it i know you seen it <laughs> yeah but something is about to give okay spirit any more messages from the angel oracle text spirit thank you yeah, big happy changes are coming ahead. Don't worry. You're stressing for nothing, boo. You really are. You're stressing for nothing. But let me tell you something. If this is your energy and you're scared to take action, you're being jealous because of this king of wands that's in the picture, ask for help from helpful people like, you know, spirit guides. They're here for you. If you ask them, they'll, they'll help you. Yeah. Yeah. For some of you guys... The spirit is saying, yeah, go ahead and choose a new direction. Right? But you have free will. Okay? Get out of this seven of swords energy. Right? There's lies and deceits and, you know, um, secrets and all that kind of foolishness. That's not helping the situation at all. Get out of your head. Stop overthinking and just take action. A healthy conversation will change everything. You'd be surprised. And you learn, in a lot of cases, you were stressing for no reason at all. And it's all designed to work out in your favor. But you'll never know that if you don't talk. Because there's no talking here. There's lack of communication, clearly. Which is why the Nine of Swords is here, right? Because you're in degree, in grief from depression. And then you're hiding this. You're, you're hiding this. I can tell because the high priestess fell out. Mm-hmm. All right, Aquarius, is, that's all I have, love bugs, okay? Make sure you hit the like, the like share, subscribe button um, so that it could circulate to this, so this video could circulate to other Aquariuses out there. And um, if you would like to donate to the channel, you could do so at Real Love Tarot via, via Cash App. The link to my Cash App is in the description box below. All right, love bugs, be good. Bye.